guys, so I know you haven't seen me in a really long time. I've been really busy. I work full time because they're short staff, but I'll be part time later on and I'll have more time for videos. But I have time today, finally. I got off early and I thought I would film a wrap up, a February, March wrap up because I never put up my December and January wrap up, which I literally filmed right at the end of January. I just haven't had the chance to put it up. So I will have that up for you and then you'll probably see this video. So I read one book in February and I read three books in March. So the only book I read in February was Triangles by Ellen Hopkins. And I really enjoyed Collateral, which I mentioned in my December, January wrap up, which will probably be up before this video. And yeah, I did really enjoy this. I enjoyed Collateral, but this was just meh. It's about three ladies, and I say ladies because it's an adult book and they're not girls, so they are going through all these midlife crises with their kids, with divorce, all this stuff going on, and I thought it was going to be better, but it wasn't. And I'm not going to say much about it because it would give the story away, but I gave this a 3 out of 5 and I was disappointed. And then in March I read Wild by Cheryl Strayed, I think that's how you say it and this was really good i really enjoyed it except i think i would have enjoyed it more if i read it all in one week or something because it took me forever to read this because i was working so i only got to read a little bit every night but it was really good so this is about this girl who goes on the pacific crest trail and is just like i'm going to hike this trail but she has no experience she just bought all this gear so you don't even know if she's really gonna make it because she has never even practiced hiking the pacific crest trail but it's basically about her finding herself while she's hiking this trail so i ended up giving this four out of five stars and i definitely recommend picking it up if you like nonfiction or something that has to do with adventure or finding yourself and then i read ketchup clouds by annabelle pitcher i've been wanting to read this for such a long time and i've had it for such a long time but I just haven't had time. I was planning on reading this with Keisha, but I started it and finished it in one day. It's about this girl who is in love with these two guys and she betrays one of them and she kills the other one. And it's in the summary, so I'm really not spoiling anything. I definitely recommend this if you like contemporary because it is contemporary and I really enjoyed it. So I gave this a four out of five stars. And then I read The Martian by Andy wire wire and i read this with my boyfriend and he was supposed to be in my video but he is working really late today so mm. this is actually his copy which is pretty strange i read the ebook version and we did this read along together and we read out loud to each other together so it was really fun and he explained a lot of the terminology to me and a lot of what was going on in here because it's science related in his field of work he kind of does something science related so he really loved this book. He gave it a 5 out of 5 stars, but I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars because it was just like a bunch of info dumps, which he loved. And I mean, I don't mind info dumps because they were in Project Kane, but it was just like science info dumps. And I was just like, ugh. But he loved it. He was like, ugh, H2O, blah, blah, blah. So I didn't even tell you what this was about. This is about this guy who gets left behind while the crew is on this mission and they think he's dead, but then he turns out to be alive and you will find out what happens if you read this. I definitely recommend it, even though it's an adult book. If you only read young adult, I definitely still recommend it because it's really good. I enjoyed it. My boyfriend enjoyed it. Definitely pick this up if you haven't. Also, honorable mention, I did get through most of this book and basically read the whole book but I, I mean I skipped a couple of pages but I'm basically gonna count it as I read it. I read this because my boyfriend is a vegan now and I thought that it would be fun to read and learn more about being a vegan and I did learn a lot of stuff and he learned a lot of stuff too so if you have any vegetarian or vegan recommendations definitely leave them in the comments below because I'm really interested I'm actually vegetarian now for a couple weeks now so yeah so that was my wrap up I hope you enjoyed it and you will definitely see me in another video